Israelites. You know what I mean? Our, this come from us, That's from right. our people. Revelation 1 and 3, blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the name, for the time is at hand. Yeah, the time's at hand. We ain't got a whole lot of time, man. You see what's going on with this world? The nukes can start flying in any minute. That's right. You see North Korea, they talking all kind of shit. Testing nukes every day. And that's what we get with prophecy. They don't even have no status of jurisdiction on me, though. It, that missile have a jurisdiction when it hits your ass. See y'all being physical. Y'all too fit, but I'm not scared. But the physical exists. We're not yeah, afraid bro, to die. You know, nukes in the sky, you gonna be scared. Everybody, yeah. we gonna make yeah. everybody gonna be man yeah. before the nukes even come. It's gonna be te terror, terror on these streets. But you gotta understand though. Terror can't be ruled by fear, bro. Well, you gotta mind yeah. the mayor. We know you're just fear, thinking of fear, a mayor. Fear, fear. It should be afraid. It takes you out the game, man. You know this part, this only way you gonna learn truth hey, is my by bus fear. Coming, no, my bus right here, though, brother. Hey, nice See, bus all, right. all day, all, all right. night. Huh? It's about go. every 15 I gotta, minutes. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. I you go. ain't gotta go nowhere. Passage. You know why I don't give you some more? You ain't gotta go nowhere. I'll let y'all practice some more. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, man. Ain't nothing more important than this, man. We build right. Build. You know? We build. Let's write quick, though. Like I said, though. We build. We ain't just all, we deal with every, we live in the physical, so we're gonna deal with the physical. But you gotta understand, there's prophecies in the scripture. Cause you can, we can talk about ancient history, words. No, I'm and saying, you, you live in the physical because you do what you want to do to make it more comfortable for you to exist. But you ain't gotta do that. Right. You ain't gotta do that. But nothing. there's a point to the or physical you want to live life. Comfortable if, there, if there was no meaning behind the physical world, well, why, why would it even exist? Because so God would know itself. If but God's I, so perfect, right? How would He know He's so perfect? He had to through His prophecies, something. and He lets us through His prophecies. The end, in the end. But at the end of the day, He don't need to do none of that. He know He's perfect. He know He's the man. Yep. He don't have to do. He don't. He don't have to do none of that. Actually, what's that scripture in Romans that said? The Creator about the Great. I said nine, right? Go ahead, get that scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zephaniah one and fourteen. Zephaniah one and fourteen. The great. Oh shit. The great David. How was near? It is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Okay? It says, that day is a day of wrath. What's the equipment? The mighty man. You ever seen them athletes? Yeah. And fighters and boxers and shit. They got mad skills. Go 10 rounds and still want to go 10 more. Those are considered mighty men. Oh, like your boy Chris Cow for the American Sniper. Guys like that. Yep, yep, yep. You know what I mean? Yep. The it, football player dude. Oh, they yeah. got killed. What's his name? Uh, Pat. Uh, Pete. Yeah, that's Pat him. Something? That's him. That's I him. can't remember. They got Mag men. They got Mayweather's training. Right. Hey, you know what? We gonna put it up there like that anyway. These, I call them. I'm gonna call them mighty men anyway. These Bloods and Crips. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's another example of mighty men. You know, yeah, going around tough. putting terror on people. You know. Because when the economy collapses and there's no no food in the stores, no money, there's gonna be evil out here. You know what I mean? It's really gonna be evil. Evil. <laughs> It's already getting evil, you know what I mean? You see other countries right now, they over there eat cats, dogs, pigeons. They're running out uh, Venezuela. They don't ran out of cats and dogs and pigeons to eat. Shit. Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico. Oh, that Puerto Rico got, just yeah. got messed up, you know what I mean? You seen in Texas got hit and got beat down, and they, they still flipping out over in Texas. They, ain't nobody talking about that. Everybody you think know? the way of life is going to continue forever, you know what I mean? But we know some evil's coming. The great day, it's like that day is a great, it's like a that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Shit, you, you be at home, you might be sleeping, you hear a loud ass thunder, that loud ass shit, you go, that, that, that shit's gonna scare you. So oh, imagine you, Don't your heart jump? Yeah. I ain't do. When the cops get behind you, you get scared. <laughs> yeah. When you drive it. So imagine you looking at uh, millions of nukes hitting, uh, hitting this earth. You're going to hear, uh, you can see explosion down. You can see explosion right there. You can see explosion right there. Loud as fuck. Yeah, right as fuck. Is it possible? Awesome. I might know something y'all don't. I mean, yeah, it's possible. Of course it's possible. Oh, man, I've seen something y'all probably never seen. Yeah, that too. Yeah, you know? Never know. I'm not knocking what y'all saying. I've seen a whole lot of crazy doing. Yeah. I've been saying, I see the whole lot of crazy that, that maybe y'all ain't witnessed before. Have you ever seen a chariot? Yeah. UFO. So what is that? I don't know. That's, we do know. You that's say, that's the Lord and the angels. You know, ain't no octopus 
which steals the maker. And where they found that? Where, what, what book tells you what they are? This book right here. Right, right. And here it is. They always talk about every, the aliens every, come from billions of years. Uh, like, they like, saw a band, but like, like, the white man can get them, though, like travel. Like, every shit. Day, <laughs> come on. What, the UFOs? Every day, they say, they say guys. That's not a book yeah, of the sun. Yeah, the yeah. sun, you have a shot. Get Deuteronomy 30, the Deuteronomy 17. There was not, nothing could exist here. Oh, I got it, let me get it. If the sun did not exist. Well, who made the sun? Huh? Who made the sun? The creator. Right, the creator put out the word. If the sun, Genesis if the sun went down, then nothing exists. Hey, let me read a scripture. I got a scripture for that sun. This is not sun worship. <laughs> We're very familiar with that doctrine. Deuteronomy 17 and uh, 2. If there be found among you within any of thy gates, which the Lord thy God giveth thee, man or woman, that have wrought wickedness in the sight of the Lord thy God in transgressing his covenant, and have gone and served other gods and worshiped them, either the sun or moon or any of the host of heaven, which I have not commanded. And if, and if it be told thee, oh, well, it gets better. And if it be told thee, and thou hast heard of it, and inquired dil diligently, and behold, it be true, and that a thing certain that such an abomination is rotten Israel, then shall thou bring forth that man or woman which have committed that wicked thing unto thy gates, even that man or that woman, and shall stone them with stones until they die. So that's the scriptures say if you worship the sun, you get put to death. Because that. I hear a lot of people say, oh, Jesus, the sun god, December 25th. Well, you know what? You know. How about, how about, how about, can you read that in Hebrew? Hebrew? <laughs> They're going to say the same thing. Can you read that in Hebrew, me? brother? I got my Hebrew can Bible on. Okay, what? Look, look, look. I guarantee you, if you hear ancient Hebrew lexicon on right. Google, it's not going to say the same thing as that. I've read it in Hebrew before. It said, right, they actually did. I'm just saying, brother. I, I know. The I words would be totally different. No, it means something different. Actually, I'm going to tell you this. The King James Old Testament is nearly perfect the to the Hebrew. The Hebrew that's going to say something different. Nah, it's, it says don't worship the sun. You get put to death. Go ahead. So you can't, people get too emotional. Right. I'm not emotional. The Bible, the Bible does make things emotional. I have studied the scriptures. No, I'm saying the Bible, you like the Bible. And actually, emotional. since uh, uh, I agree with you, brother. Let, makes people emotional. I'm going to hit you a little bit of knowledge for some Hebrew. Talking about some Hebrew. Now, what, what, just real quick. Now, how do you say uh, the word uh, Rai, the sun god, in e Egyptian is Rai. It's really pronounced Rai or Ray. And that same word in Hebrew means evil. Oh, yeah? Go ahead, what you got? Who's the psalm 13? 13 and 1. Surely vain of all men. Vain points in verse 2, but verse 1. Surely vain of all, all men by though. I can't think of it, though. It's Amon Go ahead, read that again. Surely vain or worthless of uh -oh, all men by nature who are uh -oh. ignorant of God and could not out of the good things that are seen know him that is, neither, neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work master. But these are the fire or wind or the swift air. Or the yeah, you got like stone. Zoroastrians, they were fire worshippers, light worshippers. You got, because that's all pagans essentially, they just observe nature, they worship nature. You know what I mean? Like the ancient Egyptians. We are nature. They, of course, well, nature, of course. Nature means physical, physical though. Body. You know what you're made up of? But the word nature yeah, means yeah, physical. Yeah, you're made, you're made, you're made, made up of the same thing as the trees, bro. Right. Well, the same elements, the same exact elements. Yeah, so we're well, the same. But you worship the, the creator, not the creation. <laughs> we, are, we are the creators. It says, we, we are creators, but we're not the most high. Yahweh, who who we're not the most you, high. Not? We're not. Who created your spirit? Who, 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 who created your spirit? Shouldn't you give him thanks and praise because he created your spirit? It's like you give praises to your mother and father though. So that makes sense, right? Honor you, honor your mother. The most high is in us. His spirit is on all life. But we're not the most high. The most high is a spirit. The scriptures say he's a spirit. Right. The spirit's in you regardless of what you do. Like how we said earlier, you go up or down, remember? Yeah, yeah. There it is. But the most high, we're definitely not the most high. That's why we the most high. His name is Yahweh. We the most high. You think this shit would be like this, America? I done been, I done been destroyed. Okay, but why the most high? Okay, well why the most high allowed this then? Because he wants to. This is 
Hey. Why most high lot of people get killed in Puerto Rico and all that? Hey, for being wicked, for being wicked. Why did the most high being wicked? For being wicked. Why did he flood the earth? He read the script. The Bible says, "Thou shalt not kill." No, no. This says, "An eye for an eye." You know what? Hey, you allowed the. It says, "Thou shalt not murder." Can I read the scripture? Yeah, say this. This is answer your question why the most high did all this. This is Romans nine and twenty. Yeah. It says nineteen. Thou. It says, "Honor and love your brothers," and it says, "Eye for an eye." I don't understand. Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that replies against God? Shall a thing form say to that formed it? Why have thou made me thus? Have not the potter power over the clay, but the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What if God, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction? So, Oh, I, I ain't finished. Yeah, I, I read this. I, I, well, well, I pretty much more, has, the Lord did it because physical, he got not, all this power. Physical, look, look, if you have all this power, if you have money, if you have all this money and power and respect, wouldn't you want to show it? If you, if you, if you, have, if you have all this, because you want to. But why, though? Why because you, can, you can't. See, that's a, that's a, that's a question because, that see, when you say money, when you say money, I take me. When you say money, okay, I'm taking maybe what y'all do as money, the currency. Let me I say, say as a currency. Let me say like this. Let me say that. You got not, you got, not physical money, the currency. Hold on, you all want currency. Listen, listen, we, we got gold. gold. Like, hold on, hold on, we got stacks of gold. Let me, let me say right. this. Rubies, have, pearls, sapphires, yeah, all that. Yeah. If you have a badass talent, talent that nobody else has, you the baddest at what you do. When you want to show it. You can sing the best, you can sing better than anybody else. When you be on TV singing and shit like that, yeah. put it on YouTube, you know, sing. Come on, man, that's what the Lord says. The Lord wants you to show his powers. I know many trades, but master of none. I got to go first. Right. Hey, I wish y'all luck. All right, all right. Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Hell yeah. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Right. You got to have the fear. I must have wanted to hear this one. Shabbat 33 and 21. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. Yeah, neither, search, <laughs> neither search the things that are above thy strength. You know, he's too many questions, man. Just trying to be too deep. Yeah, he's trying to go way too deep. To too Instead deep. of just listening. You know what happens when you go too deep, you drown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you get crushed. <laughs> Hey, yeah, he, he was quick to throw that Egypt away in the trash. Oh, yeah, he switched it up like, well, you no, know, Yeah, really, actually. Yeah, you no, know, actually, I really don't even fuck with that shit. <laughs> no, now, bro. what was we reading on the internet? That oh, my, laws of my yard. Uh, yeah. We'll get back to it? Yeah, yeah. All right. Because oh, I was about to, uh, like, I was trying to tell, dude, I don't know if you heard me, but I was uh, doing some studying, but there was an actual battle between the ancient Egyptians and the Persians. You know how the Persians defeated the Egyptians? They took thousands of cats, threw them on the battlefield because the Egyptians were so superstitious, they didn't want to hurt a single cat because they were gods. <laughs> no, I'm serious. They I know. I'm and they fled, the bat they fled the battle because they didn't want to hurt the cat. So you ain't going to tell me they didn't really worship those cats. Yeah. They always try to say, oh, that's the crazy. they say, you just don't understand the mathematics behind that. Because uh, he said, uh, thou shalt not kill someone. Mr. John said, go killing people, whatever. Which he does, but he don't murder people. This is uh, wisdom, wisdom of Solomon 12 and uh, points in 12, I'm sorry, 11. But it was a cursed seed from the beginning, neither did it thou, for fear of any man, give them pardon for those things were in thy sin. For who shall say, What's up, bro? Who shall say, What hast thou done? Or who shall withstand thy judgment? Or who shall accuse thee for the who shall accuse thee for the nation that perish, whom thou hast made? Or who shall come to stand against thee to be revenge of the righteous men, unrighteous men? So he try to say, all right, for all right, two for two. And I guess he try to say, what's revenge the most high? I don't know. But the Lord, they said, who shall revenge the unrighteous? Like, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't say the Lord is unrighteous for killing the unrighteous people. He can do what he wants to do. That's why he called the most high. To find out, try and find out why. They keep questioning why, why, why. I got one. I got one. We're going to go into that again. Oh, this for him. What are we doing? We can prepare him. Because it, fa it fails the 42 laws of Maya, they ain't got the first commandment or the second commandment. That's that dude. He bugged out one day. Crazy out here. Talking like a. Oh, he said if anybody, he's about to be the one dude up, right? That guy? I don't think he was out here.
He was out here one day, he was acting like Golem in Lord of the Rings, talking about his precious. Yeah. He looked different, didn't he? He looked like he was in his right, right state of mind. He came from a demon. Yeah, he had demons on him. He was possessed for real. He looked like he was in his right head. Now he feels bad about it, but what? You can say he said from the scripture he didn't, didn't want to hear how the mighty man went by cried bitterly. Yeah, he kept saying, Y'all keep talking about the physical. <laughs> Ain't we in the physical? You tell me, I guess next thing the world don't exist, we don't exist. Like your boy that one day. Oh, uh, yeah. The I don't exist guy. <laughs> That's what comes next. We don't exist, nobody exists. It's just a holiday. It's all in your head. That makes no sense. That's going too deep, man. They're talking about you a hologram and <laughs> everything. Even if he was a hologram, my bad. Even if he was a hologram, he still exists. You'd be a, a, a hologram exists. Like we don't know those exist in substance. It's a reality, right? Man, yeah, it's dreams, all that shit. Yeah, say that physical don't exist when you when you have sex with that nasty hoe. Yeah. Your shit start burning. Yeah. It's all in your head. <laughs> it's all in your head, bro. <laughs> Drying up like glue, you gotta pull your dick through your drawers. <laughs> That's so shit. And when you're getting tortured and someone's pulling your teeth out asking for the keys to the safe or something, you know? <laughs> torture is coming too. Right, right, it's just physical, man. The physical, don't, it ain't even real. Right. That's all. You it's, don't feel pain. Yeah. <laughs> Jake gotta be hard, man. I ain't scared. I ain't scared of nothing. I don't feel nothing. All right. All right. This is a second answer 16 and 1. Go be into beat, Babylon. In Asia, woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloth and sack and hair, be well your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent unto you, who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you. Yeah, you do weren't even worried about the missiles. They said, man, man, that's good, you're not afraid to die or whatever. But he didn't understand the point, though. The missiles and all the missiles and the nuclear war, that proves the Bible's the truth because it was all prophesied. Right. That nigga just talking shit because right. it really never happened to him yet. Yeah. You know? Because, oh. yeah, that's one thing the Bible has. None of these other books have prophecy. Right. Ain't no prophecy in the Quran. Ain't no prophecy in no Hindus or no none of that other heathen shit. Right. Prophecies and prophets. Some other books ain't got no prophets. Yeah, they don't even talk about no prophets. No. Prophets going out. You know Muhammad ain't no fucking prophet. Yeah, read or write. Muhammad. Yeah, Muhammad. Yeah, he couldn't even read or write. How are you supposed to get you precepts when he can't even read? Muhammad. <laughs> like Muhammad. Muhammad, he'd be like the retard in the camp. Man, just hold up a sign. <laughs> just go <gonna> post. <laughs> and shut up. <laughs> Stop talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> right. A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in stubble? When they have begun to burn, and one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? And that doesn't stop the missiles from coming, though. Right. The that, mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that drives them away? You know, that's why I was thinking about since day one, though, I came into the truth of those missiles. When the first time I heard something about his missiles, that's something really you can't lose sight of the missiles. That's a, that's what the main prophecy. That's the icing on the cake. That's the end. That's the end of it, right there. Is those goddamn missiles. That's just gonna be beautiful, man. Because most people don't, don't even think about missiles when they're walking around. You you think they got missiles on their mind? They ain't even thinking about a missile. Cause you can't. I, I be thinking about the missiles every day. Cause I'm like, I know it's the missiles. You know what I'm I mean? thinking about what's gonna come before the missiles. Well, that too. Shoot, that missile's just gonna be the end of it all. Yep, that's the, <laughs> the eraser. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be beautiful, man. Um, 
The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? These are all good questions. Oh, there is none. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. That looks like oh, Lord. the Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> he shall... <laughs> He shall cast lightnings, and he shall not hear, not fear. He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? So you supposed to be fearing the Lord. You know what I mean? That guy over there is talking about he uh, that was up here talking. Yeah, he said he has no fear. Proverbs one. That's his problem. Proverbs one. And it, that people always talk shit about the Bible. Like, Why you want to worship a God that you have to fear? Well, if you don't, if you don't have to, uh, oh, you good? We got it. <laughs> what was I saying though? Uh, I don't know, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, oh, yeah. So if you worship the uh, God that you didn't What's fear, up? what kind of God is that? Oh, God's good. Yeah, I'm broke, man. I'm good at that. I got socks. I am straight. You got socks? Yeah. What kind of socks? You got kid socks? Uh, hold it. I'll check out what you got. Hey, go take a spot. See, these are all good questions, man. The uh, uh, 16 and 1 is asking all these people, who's going to be able to turn the way? Ain't going to be nobody that's going to be able to turn the way. Ain't nobody, because that's all we hear, people. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Man, man, we hear it all the time. They're ready for this. They're ready for that. They don't scare this. They don't scare that. Man, the most high is gonna bring a perfect terror on these motherfuckers, man. The perfect terror, cause they've been a perfect witness. You know? Prime example. Well, oh, I ain't getting a chip. But they be like, well, you can't eat today. Or water. Or water. They gonna be like, well, your tongue all dry, your lips, your lips cracking. Yeah. <laughs> you thirsty and shit. They're like, oh, put that chip back. <laughs> Drinking dust. Especially, especially when you ain't the most high, ain't dealing with you, man. Every week he come through with something. He come through. He got through some laundry detergent, socks. <laughs> Bruh. Next week. I ain't gonna have this one. A fire shall go forth from his wrath and who is he that may quench him? He shall cast lightnings and who shall not fear? He shall thunder and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder in his presence? I don't know. I'm getting that one scripture you said we didn't read it though. Uh, Zachariah. I think you're right though. We gotta read that more often. Zachariah. Yeah, because it, it need to be heard more. Oh my goodness. Here goes. That's that dude. Uh, Zachariah, what is that, 13?